military personnel sent, uh, send a lot of money this campaign, more than any of the other campaigns. But I tell you what, the, the enthusiasm uh, is, is growing by leaps and bounds and bounds. The, the crowds are getting bigger. And the issue, as far as I'm concerned, there's only one issue. You know, they talk about a lot of issues. They talk about the foreign policy, monetary policy, economic policy. There's one issue that has made America great, and the issue that you can answer all your questions on is individual liberty. Yep, yep. That is liberty that provoked, provoked the revolution and then the writing of the Constitution. The Constitution was written as a document, though we were coming together into one country, the document was written, it was intended to at least, to strictly restrain the federal government. That's what the Constitution is all about. Right. It's grown by leaps and bounds, and the best demonstration of that is the spending. Spending never ceases. One administration to the next is always spending increases. Even today, when they talk about cuts, you know they're not talking about cuts. They're talking about taking around the edges and nibbling away at the proposed increases. What we're talking about are real cuts and the shrinking of the size of the federal government. <laughs> significant question, and that's what should the role of government should be. If liberty is the most important issue, the most important responsibility of government is to protect liberty, and not to be the policeman of the world, and not to have a runaway welfare state. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, we lost the, and we lost our way, we went in the wrong direction, we allowed our, our government to grow, we, we accepted the idea that the federal government's responsibility was to intervene in the economy, not to protect the free market economy, not to protect, protect private property and contracts and sound money. It was to intervene and play mischief. It wasn't to protect your privacy. Right now, today, this government spends more time and energy, energy in passing law invading your privacy. It should be the other way around. We want exposure and openness of government. We want your privacy back. invading our privacy. We don't need a Patriot Act that tells you that the government can come in and invade your house and your homes and your papers and everything that you do without a proper search warrant. Yeah. And we certainly don't need to be moving on to the next stage, which is happening right now. Last week or two weeks ago it was passed and then just recently signed by the President authorizing the military to arrest American citizens and not allow them to be held indefinitely. That is the wrong direction. We need to reverse that direction. Yeah. 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 We have to answer the correction question properly. What is the proper role? No, not, stay no, out no. Of He's fine. Running the it's economy. The guy the stay out of our personal lives. Stay out of the internal affairs of other nations. Yeah. One of the great facilitators on uh, the way the spending uh, control and the government expanded you, huh? was the way our monetary yeah, system worked. If a country wants to do something and they have to tax as a limitation, that people wake up, oh, they're taxing us, and we're not getting anything from it, and they rebel. So they devised this other system of borrowing and delaying the payment. But now they have used this other technique for the last hundred years, but it's totally out of control. And it's called central banking, the Federal Reserve. This idea that we allow in secret the central bank to print unlimited money dollars into the many, many trillions bailing out to France has to come to an end. That is the reason government gets so big. So not only do we want an audit of the Fed, we want to make sure that we have something much better than the current Federal Reserve System. Yeah. We had a grand experiment in our history. We were the greatest nation, the freest nation, was the largest middle class ever. 
today, that is not true. Our middle class is getting smaller by the day. There is a transfer of payments when you destroy currencies. There's a transfer of payment when you allow the, allow the lobbyists to control Washington, and Washington becomes nothing more than an auction. And this is the reason that we have to reassert ourselves. We have a tradition on what freedom was all about, what sound money was all about, private property, and therefore, we don't have quite the task as other nations have when they want to go to a freer society. But most of history has been uh, obligated to live under dictatorship. Today, we're moving in the wrong direction, but the American people are stirring. This is what this campaign has been all about. This is what the vote is about tomorrow. Are we sick and tired of the expansion of government, the endless spending and the deficit, doing the things they weren't supposed to do, and forgetting about doing the things they should be doing? Tomorrow is a very important day. Small in numbers, but a very big message. So you carry a lot of weight. I don't care about your personal liberty, or it wouldn't be continuously undermined. So therefore, a lot is at stake. I used to say, as many have said, and some continue to say, yes, we can't spend that money because we don't want to pass it on to the next generation. Let me tell you, it's not going to happen. The next generation is here today. That is why we have to change things today and bring back the traditions of America, which means liberty, peace, and prosperity. Thank you.